confidence has depleted <laughs> with Meg's brap. busy day but I wanted to talk to you about some confidence I was gonna say confidence issues but my confidence has depleted a little bit while riding enduro parks and the only reason for that is because I haven't been riding my enduro park as much as I thought I would be if you didn't catch it um, I did a 15 day slow wheelie challenge and I dedicated my whole month of June to do this challenge. So even though it was 15 days, that's all I focused on. Every chance I got to ride or dirt bike, it was basically wheelies. And so I have not hit my park, oh gosh, since maybe May. It's been so hot, like 40 degrees here in Pemberton. Um, especially where I live it's a lot warmer we don't get a whole lot of wind and so it hasn't been motivating to go and dirt bike actually I was supposed to have a social ride tonight but I had to cancel it because of the weather so instead we're gonna meet up with some new riders which I'm very excited about and yeah change it up so today i'm gonna focus on one obstacle and that's the pole jam and i'm so excited about this feature and i actually haven't really hit it since this video here or here um which was back in september so i'm so excited to tackle that today and today that's the focus so we're gonna kind of talk through the whole day of some of the steps that i'm gonna take when it comes to doing this pole jam on my dirt bike. Come along, join me as we go through all of this together. We're gonna go skateboarding and have fun. Dropping. Nice! Okay. I'm ready. Okay. because it's so hot, isn't it? I just want to eat. I'm gonna have yeah. some snacks. <laughs> All right, that was a fun skateboard session. I dropped the one foot, right, Stella? Yeah. How was it? Really good. Yeah. Yay, and Billy did it as well. Stella is a pro at it, I so. Did it by yeah, Billy did it all by herself. And yeah, I did it, yay. But I wanted to talk to you about this pole jam. So if you haven't seen it yet, it is basically a log that juts out of the ground. I believe the word pole jam is like a skateboard term or a snowboard term. Um, actually it is. <laughs> Anyways, so it's kind of fun that we have a pole jam in our dirt bike enduro park. And I wanted to talk to you about it because I I'm so intimidated by it and I know so many other people that come to my enduro park are like scared of it. It does look intimidating. It looks kind of high. I'm going to measure it when we go back home um, and we'll figure out what the height is at the very top. But in all honesty, out of all of the features in the park, that one is probably the easiest. And the only thing is, that's the scary part is coming off of it, right? Cause you have a bit of a drop, but you don't have to go very fast at it. Just like a steady momentum. And you just give that throttle and it's almost like with the grooves in the pole, in the log, um, it really grips your tires. So it just naturally takes you up the log. I'm so excited to do this with you and I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. We're gonna measure it out. All right, let's go home and we're gonna 
go do that together. First, I have to work and then we'll do that together. All right, finally, after a long day, I am gonna hit the pole jam. Got Kenny cutting some logs because we are getting the yard prepped for a four day clinic with Meg's Brap. And while we get the yard prepped, I'm also gonna hit the pole jam. So come along. Okay, so here we are at the pole jam and you can see that this, the height of the pole, like at the, the highest point is at my hips. But when we're on the log and we're on our dirt bike, well, we're gonna be that much higher on the pole jam. So it's gonna feel like it's a lot bigger than what it really is. When you think about it, like I'm shy of five feet, this isn't that tall. But again, when we're on our dirt bike, it does become taller. The beauty about um, this pole jam is it's like a gradual incline. So it's nothing too crazy steep that you have to climb up on it. Um, it's just a smooth transition from the ground. We have some beautiful notches that my husband Kenny notched out for us so that the tire can really grip onto the pole jam. Okay, well, let's go and hit this and see how it goes. When I am going to approach this log, at the very beginning, I'm not going to the tip of the log. I'm just gonna hit it and come right off of it so that I can feel myself and get the momentum, get the feeling of it. And every time I approach it, I'll try to go further up the log and then I'll launch off. So you can see, I'm not going that fast into it. All right, Whew. okay, I'm ready for the evening. That session was pretty good. I'm actually really stoked on it. And um, I sure do love a good pole jam session. And I actually haven't done that. I've done that once this year, but because I was doing the slow wheelie challenge for the whole month of June, I haven't touched my Enduro Park. So um, yeah, it was really nice to work on that together. But because it's so damn hot, I had to cancel my women's beginners social ride tonight. Um, we're here in Pemberton and I think it's like 40 plus degrees. So heat warning that we're going through right now. So instead of a ride, we're gonna meet up at the Beer Farmers, which is a local um, brewery. And we're just gonna get some refreshments and some eats. And I am gonna meet some new ladies, new lady riders. So I'm so excited. And um, the whole point of these meetups is really just getting people stoked, getting women stoked. And I'm finding that there's so many new riders within our area, within the Sea to Sky, that it is so crucial to make them feel like they're a part of a community in some way, shape or form. And if we can't ride, we're gonna still meet up and meet each other and just share the passion and share the stoke. Super important, so come along and uh, let's go meet some babes.